For the past 30 days, I have been taking creatine. This is me, day one, weighing 160 pounds. I was actually super nervous to start this just because I've never taken any type of supplements before besides protein powder. So I made sure to do my research beforehand and found out that the best results would most likely come from this micronized creatine powder. And I made sure to get it from On Brand. That's just because I trust them. I've been using their protein powder for a couple of years now. And so I thought it was the safest way to go to get a good quality creatine. So taking creatine, there's a loading stage where you have to saturate your muscles. You can do this faster by taking more of it, or you can do it spread out over a longer period of time. Now I wanted the best results for this in 30 days, so I was gonna saturate my muscles quicker by taking more of it in a short time and then gradually decreasing. So the plan was to take about 20 grams of creatine a day, 10 before my workout and 10 after for the first five to seven days and then we would drop it down to about five grams of creatine every day from there on out. So day one, I made my creatine drink, planned to go to the gym, but found out that all the gyms were closed because of coronavirus, so I had to start working out at home. This was a huge bummer because I don't have a ton of workout equipment, but I just had to make things work. During that first workout, it felt like I was on crack, like I was super strong. It could have just been a placebo effect, or it might have been just the crack I took right before I started. All right, we are done with our workout. Now it is time for another 10 grams of creatine. I plan to continue this for the next five days, as I said. However, after day two, I found it really hard to keep drinking two protein shakes, getting 20 grams of creatine in. So I just reduced it on day three to 10 grams of creatine and one protein shake beforehand. And then we would just do our workout after that. And I ended up doing this for 10 days out of the 30. Once the 11th day came, we reduced it down to like 3 to 5 grams of creatine a day in one protein shake. I continued doing this, constant workouts at home. Obviously, coronavirus wouldn't allow me to go to the gym, so that was the only big downside to this. Just the timing did not work out well. I really feel like this creatine made a difference. A couple days before I started taking the creatine, my max bench was 225. And it was a struggle. And on March 29th, I did 226. I got it. And it was a lot easier. I honestly think I can do more than that. And if you guys are looking for the results aesthetically, my muscles grew quite a bit in a, for a month's change. I really noticed this in my biceps and my chest, which is really interesting because my workouts haven't even been as intense as they normally are at the normal gym, just because I'm lacking a lot of equipment and weights I need to use. And I did not suffer any hair loss, if that's what you guys are scared about. Apparently, creatine can cause hair loss in people, but no hair loss occurred and, uh, I'm gonna continue taking creatine for a couple more months. If you guys wanna see the update in the future, just let me know down in the comments and I'll post that video. I do think it works and I do think it helps you get gains. But that's everything guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it and wanna see more, make sure you let me know, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.